South Africa is set to receive more rain than expected this summer. The International Research Institute for Climate and Society recently advised of uh, La Nina conditions. But does the country have to brace for more flooding during the festive season? Let's find out from climatologist Dr. Peter Johnson, who joins us now. Uh, Dr. Johnson, always a pleasure to have you. And that's exactly the question. Should we brace ourselves for more flooding and rainfall? Good morning. Um, I'm afraid to say that that's what we call a bit of a scaremongering headline. Um, it, it shouldn't really be allowed. What the situation is exactly is that in a La Nina, La Nina episode like we've had now, we've had for the last year and, and is continuing, the chances of rainfall in the summer rainfall region are increased. Um, this is the El Nino and La Nina um, oscillation happens in the Pacific Ocean and we've discovered that it affects the rainfall around the world. Um, when we have a La Nina, the expectation for southern Africa's summer rainfall region is for higher than average rainfall. But that's not a guarantee and there's only really a 60% chance of that. So there's as much, almost as much chance of not having that as is of having that. But historically speaking, during a La Nina, we would say that there's a greater chance of higher rainfall. This does not mean that every single month we'll have a higher rainfall during the coming summer. It doesn't mean that southern Africa will be flooded. Flooding depends on really four things. One is the timing of the rainfall. One is the intensity of the rainfall. Then we have the existing soil moisture conditions on the ground. And then fourthly, we have the state of infrastructure. Now you can imagine that we can't control the timing of the rainfall or the intensity of the rainfall. It could happen in a shorter time, there could be more rainfall. And if there is, then we really look at the other two factors. And one is the existing soil moisture. How moist is the soil already, in which case there'll be very little runoff. Or in the case of a situation after drought where the soil is very dry, there's also a likelihood of more runoff. The fourth reason that we have a flood is because of infrastructure, and that is where we have blocked drains, we have rivers that are full of debris, and we have a situation where the rain that falls can't flow away. So while as a climatologist, I can't guarantee at any point that there's going to be more rainfall or indeed more floods, there is always a possibility. So the fact that we're expecting more rainfall than normal for the com coming summer and usually the, um, the La Nina conditions kick in in December, January, and February. So round about now, we would expect a 60% chance, as I said, of getting more rainfall. So the, 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 the message to those who are in charge and to the general public is that we should be doing whatever we can to put in place measures to deal with any heavy rainfall so that flooding doesn't occur and doesn't affect people's lives. Right, and speaking of that impact on people's lives, I mean, what is, is it likely to look like? Well, it's very hard to say because in many cases, heavy rainfall doesn't have to hurt anybody. But if you are situated in low-lying areas, or if you are situated in areas with very low drainage that is prone to flooding, then of course you're vulnerable. And, and vulnerability is something that some people don't recognize. City planners do recognize it, and they you know, usually encourage people not to settle in places that are exposed. But inevitably, this happens. So the, 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 the issue then is that loss of life only really happens in very severe cases where flooding is, is so great that people have been not been able to get out of the way or else have risked their lives by trying to cross a river, cross a stream or something like that. Um, it's very, very hard to lay the blame on anything else. Uh, so you know, we can't lay the blame on the weather. We should be expecting slightly more rainfall or more rainfall. We don't know how much this summer. But certainly to avoid flooding, we need to deal with those vulnerabilities.